All right, today's project is to solder the antenna connector VHF. I'm gonna show you how to do that very easy with a soldering gun. First of all, when I came here to inspect the wiring, it was not connected properly. Uh, the reason it wasn't connected properly here is this stainless steel match needs to be welded right through these little holes and it wasn't done. So I did not have a good connection and I believe this was done at the dealer when I purchased the boat. And another thing is, these cables here should not be winded. When you wind the antenna cable, you lose a frequency, right? So uh, this was incorrectly installed at the dealer and we're gonna correct that today so we can get a better reading on my radio. All right, so yes, this, definitely all this winding does not help the reading of the antenna. You always wanna leave a little bit of extra cable, but not that much that you have this big winding. And by having this winding, definitely you're losing frequency on the antenna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zip tie it through here and come around here like this. Now, first thing that we want to do is place this sleeve through here, like that. And now with this antenna kit, there's these other two pieces. And we're going to place this one over the sleeve. Now we're going to measure here the length that we're going to be using. We're going to measure the length that we need to cut. And it's going to be right here after this little ring right here. We're going to cut the sleeve real careful right there. We don't want to cut the mesh under it. So we want to do it softly. See if you twist it. You see how it's opening it up? Twist it to the right and it's about to come off. Perfect. All right, you see this mesh right here? Now this mesh, we're going to open it up. And this is the part we're gonna solder through um, this little holes here. Now we're gonna get this sleeve, place it right here. All right, since we have a little bit extra of the sleeve, we're gonna cut a little bit off. So that way it doesn't interact with this thread there. All right. Now we're gonna bring it down evenly. See how it looks? That way it doesn't interact with that thread there. And we're gonna cut this right around here, a little bit less than a quarter, right here. Again, cut it softly. And now twist it to the right. And there we go, it's coming out. The reason I'm twisting is to get that uh, stainless steel wire all wind up. There it is. Right now that the soldering gun is hot, I'm gonna put a little bit of solder in here. All right, you see the little solder there? It's perfect. Okay, now we're gonna let that cool. Now that it is cooled down already, now we're gonna bring the VHF plug here, bring it into here. You see it came out right through there. Perfect. And now we're going to tie it here. And as you see, you can see the stainless steel match to there, which we're gonna solder that. Now the first thing we want to do, we want to solder the plug. But before we do that, there's a little axis here that we want to cut. It's right here. Now we're going to start soldering right through there. Heat up this area here. And just pour it in. Now that we solder the plug in the front, come out perfect. Now these little holes here, you see that match? You need to cover all these holes with solder. First we're gonna heat up the area. All 
All right, now that I let it cool down for about 15 minutes, you can see all the holes on the side here are already soldered. Also here, the plug is already soldered 100%. Now we're just gonna remove any access solder here so the plug has a good contact. Now something very important before I plug the radio is get the multimeter. You see right here, this is one solid piece. You're gonna have connectivity, right? But you can have continuity from here to here. So we're gonna test that. Okay, you see, there's no continuity here, which is perfect. Not interacting with the main plug. So we did a good connection here. Now I can connect the VHF. Got this long zip ties here. All right. All right, so that's how you do a clean installation on a VHF antenna connector. All right, so if you found this video helpful, how to make the VHF connector for the antenna, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and always navigate safe.